Excuse me. Hi. I'm Jake Peralta. Yeah. All right, all right. So thrilled to be here today. Uh, as many of you may know, I used to be a cop. Hey, I was dirty. I took tons of bribes. <laughs> but as a former detective, uh, I know a thing or two about life sentences. And Angie, Marco, you just got slapped with the best life sentence there is. Marriage. <laughs> to Angie and Marco, make us proud, have a son. Salud! Salud. Spray tan, Joey. Hey, let me take a picture of you. I want to show this color to the guy who stains my deck. <laughs> Congratulations, Tony. It's a beautiful night. Hey, you're one of us now. <laughs> you know how long I've been waiting for one of you old men to kiss me? He's a good kid. <laughs> I gotta say, out of the four of you, I think Vito's the best kisser. <laughs> ah, what a wedding, huh? Although the meatballs were a little dry. Dry meatballs. That's for all the signal. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Go, 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 go! Let's go! Stay where you are! Hands on your head! Stay where you are! Hands on your head! Oh, no, hey! Nobody say anything! Nobody talk! Get your hands off of me, you piece of... Hey, Captain Holt! Long time no see. How you doing? This is not the time, Peralta. Oh, yeah. Ah, I've missed us. Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Doctor. Have a good one. Hey there, Sarge. Not to pry, but I couldn't help it over here. You going to the doctor? Everything okay? I'm getting a vasectomy. My ears are burning. Did someone say vasectomy? I got snipped. No big deal, just numbs you out from trunk to skunk for a year. It's not supposed to. Trunk to skunk? Hold it up. You're gonna let some quack doctor just knife around down there? You are blessed with a great power. And you should never snip its wings. You should let it soar. Thanks, guys. That's enough. I don't need any more input. Neither does your wife, I guess. Look, you guys, if the sergeant wants to chop off his penis, that is his choice. That's not what a vasectomy is. If you guys don't get back to work, I'm gonna start firing detectives. And blanks. Sorry, I just never think of jokes. <laughs> Anybody else? This is your last chance. Oh, God, no need to be so testy. Guess you won't be manning the tip line. Sergeant, is this gonna go on your permanent record? <laughs> now playing scrotal recall. Ugh, motorcade duty, so boring. I honestly would rather sit around and listen to you talk about the right way to make paella. There's more than one right way to make paella, Jake. There are 10 right ways. You got classic Valencian, modern. No, food. wait, stop. I changed my mind. I've made a horrible mistake. Hey, Rosa, just who I was looking for. Quick question, can I have your friend Katie's phone number? I want to ask her out. No, I don't mix personal and professional. You're never getting her number. Never like we're never going to have a black president never, because that happened. A real never. Like, if you ever ask me about this again, you're never going to be able to eat without a straw. Yeah, OK. Well, you are on the wrong side of history, my friend. Katie, huh? Wow, I can't believe you're not still pining for Amy. I mean, I pined for years. I still think about Mia, the nurse that helped my Nana pass. Yes, I know. You've told me like a 100 times about the time your Nana collapsed and accidentally pulled Mia's pants down. Best day of my life. I don't have feelings for Amy anymore. So time for me to get out there and spread my wings. Legs. Get out there and spread my legs? Well, I either way. No, not either way. Only wings. Attention, boys and ghouls. Nope. Every Halloween, I dress up in an amazing costume, and you never get what I am. No, we get what you are, an adult man who enjoys dress up. Very funny, Rosa. This year, that won't be a problem, because you're going to pick my costume. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, Ms. Pac-Man's nipple. No, that's brown. Why would you know that? To be or not to be? Not to be. Thank you. Ha! Joan of Arc, Rod Stewart, Martha Stewart. <sighs> He-Man, Master of the Universe. <gasps> I got it, Gay Robin Hood. Yes! yes. yes. Oh my yes. gosh, yes. that's yes. what it is. Yes. Woo! Extreme. <laughs> oh, you guys are probably curious about this. It's no biggie. My car's in the shop, so I rode in on Rose's motorcycle. 
I guess you could say I'm a gearhead now. He held on to me so tight it was like a two-mile Heimlich. Those things have no walls on them. Captain, why are you sitting at my desk? Lieutenant Miller from Internal Affairs is here. He's taken over my office. Apparently, someone has been leaking classified information to a criminal syndicate. The entire squad is under investigation. That's crazy. No one hears a mole. How can you be so sure? Because I know these guys. I know everything about them. Well, you're a poor police officer if you don't think that people can surprise you. Not these people. Here, watch this. I know what everyone's going to do tonight. It's Thursday, so Gina's going to leave early to rehearse with her new dance group, Dancy Reagan. They're the first ladies of movement. Amy's going to be going over her weekly budget. And Charles will be attending a pizza for one cooking class. Tonight's menu, pepper aloni. And if I run and leap at Terry, he will most certainly catch me in his arms. Coming in. No, hold your coffee. Wait for it. Wait for it. 901. Amy Santiago is officially late for the first time ever. All right, let's do this. Who's got theories? Uh, alarm didn't go off. All three alarms, all with battery backup? Come on, who wants to take this seriously? Ooh, she was taken in her sleep. That's what I'm talking about. Super dark, Boyle, but way more plausible than the Sarge's idiotic alarm clock theory. I bet she tucked herself into bed too tight and got stuck. Maybe she fell into another dimension where she's interesting. It's 9 AM. Why is no one working? Amy Santiago is a few minutes late, and we're all trying to guess why. I'd like to play. I'd say she's in line at the bank. This is fun. It is fun, but you're all wrong. She clearly slipped through a subway grate and is having terrible sex with a mole man. There she is, Amy. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Do you care to explain yourself? I'm just 70 seconds late. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Santiago, you will tell us, and you will tell us now. There was a problem at the bank. Hot damn! Have a nice weekend, Peralta? Yeah, nothing special. You know, I got a couple. You missed Scully's birthday. It was kind of a big one. Nobody showed at the party. Guys, guys, guys. We missed Scully's birthday, and it was a big one. I know. I panicked and said I had to go to the vet because my puppy cat got sick. I said I had to take my mom to get birth control pills. That's better than my excuse. I said I had to go to my girl's bat mitzvahs. Squad, we missed Scully's birthday, and it was a big one. I told them I was in Ecuador. I think they bought it. We got to make it up to them. Let's give them cash. Everyone put in $20 each. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'll cover you. Hey, Scully. Huh? We're sorry that we missed your party. Oh, don't worry about it. You, you all had stuff to do. Yes, the capital of Ecuador is Quito. Oh. Anyway, happy birthday from all of us. Thanks, guys. You're, you're the best. Happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday. Scully. I can't believe it. The fake birthday worked. You're a genius. We're both geniuses. <laughs> Thumbtack book. That was my thumbtack book. Morning. Who were those for? Captain Holt's uncle passed away. They weren't close, but I wanted to do something. Interesting. Flowers are a bold choice, Santiago. But I can still beat you. Beat me at expressing condolences. Yep, it's on. Flowers are a gift, and Captain Holt hates gifts. I think a thoughtful email is the way to go here. Dear Captain, we were all so sorry for your loss group sentiment, very meaningful. Please let us know if there's anything we can do. Selfless act. Very respectful. Correct. I am the king of respectfulness, bitches. Hey, did you send that from your personal or work account? Personal. It's a personal matter involving a personal friend and his personal uncle. So you remembered to turn off your signature, right? I don't know. Hey, Captain, I just sent you an email. I... Dear Captain, we were all so sorry for your loss. Please let us know if there's anything we can do. Sent from my stinky butt. I was hacked? Thank you for the email. It means a lot to me. <sighs> You're very welcome. I was addressing your stinky butt. So that's 20 cargo ships in the last three months. Whoever's behind this smuggling ring knows their way around the docks, so we're going undercover as longshoremen. I will be Von Tom Tucker. A gruff, spitting, punch you in the gut sailor man who's taking a little break on dry land, but just until my girlfriend, Kangela, gets out of lady jail. <clears throat> did you just spit in my trash can? No, Vaughn did. There's some tobacco in there, too. Vaughn chews it, but it makes Jake super dizzy. And I'm Twink Tucker. You cannot choose your own name anymore. I got a job at the docks to support my drug habit, but I kept it because I love the seagulls. What, are you Irish now? No. Well, we better get going, Captain. Don't want to be late for our shift down to the docks. 
Good news. The leader of the cargo smuggling ring turned himself in at the 8-3. The mafia was closing in on him. Oh. Oh, that's great. It's good news. Yeah. Case closed. I guess we'll just return these outfits. Great. Take this back. You have 10 minutes. Coffee. Extra black, extra no sugar, and real warm. It gets cold on them ducks. I want a gray tea for me, Twink Tucker. Nah, you ruined it. Oh, ho, ho, Merry Christmas! Whoa, thank you, good sir. The elves will not starve this night. Any sign of our bogey? Negative. Are you sure our guy's gonna show? My CI said he walked this route exactly the last three days. Fine, but in 10 minutes we're calling this. I have to get back to my ecstasy task force. We have to bag a major giggle pig player soon or they're gonna shut us down. Oh, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Presents! God, you're bad at being Santa. Jake, holy crap, 9 o'clock. The Pontiac Bandit, a.k.a. Doug Judy. Okay, Santa, stay calm, just like we practiced. Merry Judy, Mr. Doug Judy Christmas. Damn it! Peralta? No! Oh, you ring attack? Yeah, greasy! And my PD stuff where you are! Come on, Santa, why are you so fat? NYPD, clear out. Where are you? Gotcha! Doug, Judy, you're under arrest. Put your hands in the air. Hey, Rosa, Merry Christmas, girl. Shut up. Take a good look, kids. This is what happens when you're naughty! Good morning, Diaz, Peralta. Captain, you're smiling. It's very weird, like seeing a turtle out of its shell. I'm happy. Our drug task force was a success, and today I get to watch my nemesis, Madeline Wunsch, drape a metal around my neck. Also, we clean up the streets. Yeah, sure, that's good, too. So, I've been planning how to zing Madeline when she puts the metal on. I have the perfect line. Wunsch time is over. So it's, it's a play on lunchtime. Yes, devastating burn, sir. But you know what would really show her is if you said nothing at all. Oh, interesting, interesting. Let, <laughs> let Madeline know she's not even worth my staying up all night crafting zingers. Lunch time took you all night? Trust me, turn the other cheek. Which I recently learned is about faces and not butts. But works either way. Yes, I should be the bigger person. It shouldn't be hard, given that Madeline's not technically a person. For meritorious service, the NYPD bestows this award on Detectives Rosa Diaz, Jake Peralta, and Captain Raymond Holt. Raymond. Madeline. You won. Go ahead and gloat, you toad. Thank you for this honor, Deputy Chief. Oh. OK. You're welcome. Lunch time is over. Boom, did it. <laughs> Had it both ways. No regrets. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Guys, Captain Holt has no pants on. Um, what? He has no pants on is what? Here are the facts. At 11.55 AM, Captain Holt walked past us holding a hot bowl of soup. At 12.03 p.m., I heard him yell. Ouch! Then, at 12.07, he called Gina into his office. She entered, holding nothing. One minute later, she left holding an opaque bag. Captain Holt's pants were in that bag. His knees are in the breeze. He's in his undies. That evidence is circumstantial. Oh, so you guys want visual confirmation? Not no. really. Done! Hey, Captain, I just need you to sign something at my desk real quick. Just leave it on the couch. Dismissed. Okay. Sir, you're gonna freak. Yo-Yo Ma is in the precinct and he's giving out autographs. Yo-Yo Ma is on tour in Australia right now. How would you know that? I'm choking on a lozenge. I'm gonna die. I got the drink. No, no, no. Stop it. I swallowed it. I swallowed it. It's fine. Hey, hey. I made you another bowl of soup since you spilled yours earlier, but you're gonna have to come over here to get it. All right, Peralta, I'm sick of you wasting time. So, yes, I spilled some minestrone on my pants, and I'm sitting in my underwear. Happy? Yes! Ugh. Sir, I need you to sign off on... Look at us! Just three people with pants on having a normal conversation. Yep. No story here. 
Hey, Boyle, I need a recommendation for a good restaurant. It's Marcus's birthday, and I want to do something nice. Ooh, do you want, like, classic, romantic, or gastro-sensuous? Ugh, never mind. I know those categories. You guys are talking dates. Here's what you do. Invite him over, order some fancy takeout, throw it in a pot, and act like you cooked it. I got the idea from Yahoo Answers. Dude, I'm not gonna buy a pot. We're not married. Okay, you know what time it is? Because my hoodie does. Look at that. Mm. I have either two or four words for you. Drag queen, dim sum. You're talking about this Friday night? Everything's gonna be booked. We're only 72 hours out and we're still in the brainstorming phase. You gotta postpone. You can't postpone a birthday, Amy. But if you can't get a reservation, you can always go home and shampoo his hair. Please stop always recommending that. Well, it's always romantic. You go to the top of the Empire State Building, that's very romantic. Huh. Maybe I will. You can pee on the whole city from up there. Come on! Ant, 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 ant. God, they're everywhere. Are we sure that we've cleaned up all the food and crumbs? Why is everyone looking at us? We're the ones who eat up all the crumbs. Yeah, we're the solution. Well, there are no ants on my desk because I sanitize it daily. What do you call that? Ah, those are your ants. They're using a monitor cable as a land bridge. Now they're destroying our technology. This is an invasion. They're in my yogurt. Now it's personal. All right, that's it. We have got to fight back. This is our planet. Just use Boyle's cologne. It's repulsive to everything. Oh, not cool. You're going to Penn Station to buy me a new one. The ant infestation? It's bad. They bite now, sir. I think they're just trying to avoid the cold weather. We should freeze them out. The plan is working, Captain. Yes, we won. Oh, my god. They're in the coats. They're in our coats. <laughs> oh, my god. What you got there? A candle, perfume, bra. Someone's dropping off a care package for mom. Ew, no. It's the stuff that Sophia left in my apartment. Oh, bud. Oh, bud. Breakups are the worst. Man, I just want to walk up to Sophia, slap her in the face, and say, girl, you messed up. You need to destroy that stuff. You want me to crush that big box into a little ball with my bare hands? No, I'm going to text Sophia and give her her stuff back. That way, I'll get to see her again and hopefully smell the air around her hair. That'll make me feel better. No, 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 no. OK, you need to embrace the pain so you can get through it. You need catharsis. Sarge is right. You need to cathart. Cathart your brains out. Cathart all over the place. That is a great point, guys. Thank you. You know who would appreciate that a lot is Sophia. I'm going to text her. I'm going to take that phone now, Jake. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Well, you did that very easily. Look, I understand that you're trying to help, but I promise you the best thing for me right now is to text Sophia. Take my phone. Thank you. And sent. Why hasn't she written back yet? God, this feels terrible. You two could have stopped this, but you didn't, you monsters. All right, here's where we stand. This nightclub is the home base for the Merrick Crime Syndicate. I've been tracking the club owner, Vladimir Drojic, AKA the Dragon, AKA my first perp with a cool nickname. What about El Baboso? Dagger. Yeah, it turns out Rosa was lying about that. El Baboso actually means the slug. <laughs> Tonto. That means dum-dum. It was very cruel. I referred to myself as El Baboso to several beautiful Latina ladies. Oh, that's your type, isn't it, Jakey? Like Sophia and Sun. <laughs> anyway, the dragon is involved in several counts of human trafficking, as well as... I'm sorry, what's going on? Who are you? Drexel with the Organized Crime Unit. I'm here for the Merit Case Materials. Oh, are you? Well... We'll see what my captain has to say about this. Thank you for taking the materials. Make sure you also pick up the files that are on Peralta's desk. Wow, that is not how I saw it playing out. Sir, I thought you said this was my case. I gave you two weeks. I'm done fending off the organized crime unit. Squad, since Peralta's briefing was cut short, you can all use this time to clean up your desks. Look at this place, half-eaten food, crumpled tissues, pictures of your families. What's wrong with pictures? If you love someone, you'll remember what they look like. What is this? Rubber band ball? Keep your bands in a box or a bag. Since you all apparently have time to play throw, I'm canceling overtime for the month, effective immediately. Get to work and deball these bands. Gregor Minsk, the counterfeiter I've been chasing for two years, has finally resurfaced. And he's just as evil as ever. Right. You hate him because he has a typo on his counterfeit bills. No, because he passed $4 million in fraudulent bills, Jake. 
but also two R's in pluribus? I mean, did none of those cashiers take Latin? Okay, let's give Amy a round of applause for whatever that was. Police briefing, still in progress. And you did great. But let's get serious, people. Tomorrow is the wedding. My mom is marrying Shudder. Charles's dad, toilet emoji. We are gonna be brother and sister. To think this started with us just going to town on each other's sexy parts. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. Charles, promise me that is not in your toast. It's not. Come on, man. Look, I need everything to be perfect. Status update. Rosa, how are the flowers? I don't know. Yellow. Tear Bear? I had my tuxedo altered to make it tighter like you wanted. Delicious. Jake, have you checked in with the jeweler? Yes, they said the ring will be ready at 2 on the wedding day. I'm going to pick it up on my way to the ceremony. This is very important, Jake. Are you sure you can handle it? Ah, uh, well, let's see. Easy, last minute, and crucial as hell. Meets all the Peralta criteria. Good. These tasks are top priority around here, people. I don't care how many criminals go free. All right? Dismissed. Uh, I'm not done with my briefing yet. I said dismissed! Jake, you gotta see this. There's something going on here. Something a little hairy. Nope. Don't see anything out of the ordinary. Really? Oh, maybe I should frame the question differently. Terry, do you notice anything? <laughs> Amy. New shirt? Oh, come on, guys. I grew goatee, and it looks amazing, and I know you can see it. Of course we can see it, Charles. It's horrible. It looks like you unclogged a shower drain with your mouth. Yeah, you look exactly like the guy in the Don't Talk to Strangers poster. <sighs> no, I don't. Are you talking about your new goatee? Mm -hmm. I think it's a good choice of your face. Ah. Come over here so I can take a better look. Thank you, Captain. I knew you'd appreciate Bianca. That's right, I call her Bianca because she's dark and thick like my first cousin, Bianca. Jeffers Peralta, now. Whoa! Say goodbye to Bianca Boyle. Bianca! No! The muggings were confined to Cabot Street. They began over two months ago. Just like this briefing did. Please go to charisma class. I'm here. I'm here. Sorry, Charles. No, Jake. Never apologize for making an amazing entrance. My power went out last night and my alarm didn't go off. Your alarm is power dependent? You brought this on yourself, son. Point is, it will not happen again. Carry on. Sorry I'm late, Sarge. No hot water this morning, but... I'm here, ready to go. We'll cause no further distractions. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Seriously, what is your excuse today? More bad luck. My car ran out of gas and then my clothes disappeared from the laundromat. I had to beg one of my neighbors to loan me some of his. You never told us Sinbad lives in your building. If Sinbad lived in my building, I would have a tattoo on my forehead that says Sinbad lives in my building. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And I'm a half an hour early. That's right, my string of bad luck has finally come to an end. Peralta, you failed your drug test. There were traces of cocaine and methamphetamines found in your urine. What? Oh my god. Rosa's wearing pink. Rosa's wearing pink. Are we sure it's not a white shirt that's just been bloodied in a motorcycle crash? Well, maybe it wasn't her. Does she have a twin sister? If Rosa had a twin, she would have eaten her in the womb. Wait, pull it. Stop. How come none of you teased her about it? It's Rosa. She's scary. You guys are unbelievable. I once wore a tie with a splash of purple. You guys called me Mr. Graves for two years. <laughs> oh, Mr. Graves. I forgot about Mr. Graves. If I wore a pink shirt, you'd tear me to shreds. Well, yeah, but you'd look like a My Little Pony with a gun. <laughs> Let me guess. Your theater club is putting on grease, and you're playing a pink lady. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What are you guys laughing at? If Boyle was wearing a pink shirt. I get it. That's hilarious. What's happening? Rose is the one wearing pink. And it's gorgeous. Wish I could pull that off. Dream on, strawberry shortcake. Yeah, nice try, Mr. Grapes. <laughs> Mr. Grapes! Mr. Grapes! Hey, Gina, you got that file I needed Captain Holt to sign? Gina hasn't taken her eyes off her phone in two hours. First person to make her look up wins the pot. I'm in. Bet which improves someone's manners, double score. Sorry, guys, I got this in the bag. I used to have to distract her from my phone all the time when we were smooshing booties. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh. Oh. Catch you later. Mid-morning dance party. She's dancing even better than normal. Oh, my god. Did you hear that George W. Bush died? Who that? 
Boom! Gina may never look at another real human being again. She's unbeatable. Uh, I don't know about that. Terrence Jeffords, are you kidding me? Changed my relationship status to it's complicated. Pony up, y'all. <laughs> Woo! It's my wife. Hey, baby. No, 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 no. It was a mistake. My thumb slipped in. I have to go home. Heads up. There's our perp looking all perpy, just perping his way down Perp Street. Take a picture. Give him one second. This light is really unflattering for his complexion. It doesn't have to be perfect. Tom Olsen is a bad dude. He's held up four electronic stores at gunpoint. Man, I wish you hadn't read that Annie Leibovitz book. Quit calling it a book. It was a visual journey. You probably think I should shoot this in color instead of black and white. Yes, shoot color. Why have you been shooting black and white? Where's he going now? Come on. Damn it. NYPD, freeze! <laughs> He's trapped. Top of car foot chase. My birthday wish finally came true. Keep it up, Jake. He's yours, he's yours, he's yours. I know. I feel like the coolest person in New York City. No, 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 no. no. You can't take him from me. You bastard. Don't do this, Scully. You have to be strong for her right now. What's going on? Unit's being replaced. Come on! Let's know. That machine's been here forever. It's basically part of the force. Take Scully instead. Yes, please. Take me to the land of vending machines. Can we at least have five minutes to say a proper goodbye? Whatever. Let me just start by saying that this machine is the best restaurant in Brooklyn. And it always had a table for me. I knew just where to punch it to get free food. Now I have to go back to punching Hitchcock. Look, she still has the bags of baby carrots I requested they put in. They're black now, but they're there. Goodbye, beautiful machine. Thank you for your service. OK. Squad salute. You can take her away now. Well, I think we handled that with dignity. Free kick!